Hey there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. In today's episode, we are going to have a little discussion on Macs and Windows because I get tons of comments of people saying, Oh, you were on Mac. Oh, you're on PC now. Which one's the better one? Well, we are here to put this to the... Rest. The, put it to rest. Put it to the rest. Put just the, to rest. Just to rest. Nail in the coffin. That's what I wanted to say. But... But the rest. <laughs> so before we start, I do want to say this. We like both in their I own. I didn't say I like Windows. <laughs> what she meant to say is we like both of them, but in their own. <laughs> it's other hands pointing a gun at me. People clicking on this video are we <laughs> getting no information out of this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What does Yoshi think? <laughs> Okay, so Max has been, that's so weird to say, Max has been mostly on... Max. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely noticed the comments on your videos for when you use Windows, people are quick to be like, I thought you were using Mac. And when you use Mac, people are like, why aren't you using Windows anymore? And so for me, I guess, because I've always used Mac, is there... A difference do you feel like when you're coding in Windows and coding in Mac or mm. yeah this is this is why I kind of find these comments hilarious uh, because I know there's zero difference when it comes to coding I could not tell you if I'm on Mac or on PC mm -hmm. it's just a text editor it's gonna work great and what's funny is I had an old old laptop um, from 2015 or 16 that wasn't even a high performance windows laptop it was a low low end uh lap pc laptop pc windows laptop <laughs> no, pc <laughs> laptop PC um and even with that compared to my high-end pc now i cannot notice a difference mm -hmm. so moral of the story if you're coding you can have a very cheap laptop and mm. that's gonna be fine i don't know where that rumor comes from like you say you can code on something that is a small mm -hmm. smaller budget sort of windows or you don't need to splash out on these yeah big brands and i think if you get a job a coding job they're probably going to provide you the devices that they want you to work with mm -hmm. so i would just focus on like whether it's windows or mac whatever works best for you like your personal life and coding shouldn't really be like the first thought of it like mm -hmm. oh should i use this because i'm coding or whatever mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah so just pick whichever you like for coding and you'll be fine and if you do end up needing to switch over the company's gonna provide that mm -hmm. for you so shouldn't be too much of a worry we're literally going to compare a laptop to a desktop PC in a moment, but... <laughs> yeah, we haven't said a thing. We've been talking for 10 minutes. We haven't said one thing about you. So I've been using a Mac for the past few years, especially as I do more creative bits like Illustrator, Photoshop and coding as well. And you've been using a mixture of both, right? Mm -hmm mostly windows my whole life um, but since i started the, the youtube channel i s kind of experimented with both platforms i think you were windows for quite a while yeah. and then you came over to see me and didn't leave so <laughs> yeah <laughs> needed so, to get uh, something a bit more portable from going between the countries right yeah i needed something a bit more portable but i got to see a lot of what the mac has to offer mm -hmm. so uh, I got a good experience with both. I think that's the thing. I was predominantly a Mac user, mm. so didn't really look at Windows or see the benefits of Windows. And you were the opposite, exactly right? You were Windows opposite. and didn't really see the Mac. So until you got the Mac whilst you were here, you saw the benefits. And since you've got uh, your Windows stuff here, I see the benefit of Windows a lot more. So mm -hmm. um, don't really see like, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm only Mac. I see the benefit between both of them. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I agree. And in this video, we really want to highlight what we like about each platform and what they have to offer. Mm -hmm. So again, it's not really this wins and this loses. Uh, it's They're both great in their own way, depending on your needs. Okay, so let's get started with comparing a couple of things that we like and we don't. 
All right, so first of all, we want to talk a little bit about I.O. Um, so you being on Mac most of the time and owning a laptop, mm -hmm. I want to ask you if you have experienced any struggles. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely have. When I was at uni, I did photography and I had uh, Windows mm -hmm. and it had like the SD port, um, the USB ports, everything I needed, but I switched to Mac just because it was better for like the other creative stuff I was doing like illustrating as well as photography and that was definitely a big struggle. I didn't have all those things that just come with mm -hmm. most Windows computers mm -hmm. and laptops. It was having to buy extra add-ons mm -hmm. in order to have that mm -hmm. connection to your laptop. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's a bit more costly, more add-ons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I definitely think that's where Mac falls short. They are sort of improving now. They have added a few more. Mm -hmm. And each time they announce a new product, it's like they are starting to think a bit more about their IOs. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Yeah, and I do agree with that. I, they're definitely improving, especially with the Mac Studio they announced. I mean, you have Ethernet ports, you have uh, a bunch of USB-Cs, pretty much everything that you really need. For my side, uh, with having Windows since the beginning, I, I didn't really know this was an issue. Mm -hmm. So when I finally did get a Mac, I was like, well, okay, how do I plug in a monitor in this time? I need to get dongles and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a bit of a struggle. Now, to be fair, it's not really a disadvantage of the Mac. If you have enough money to spend mm -hmm. on dongles, you'd be pretty much equivalent to what the PC can offer. Though I do want to point out, if you want to plug in higher quality displays, such as like a 4K 60 Hertz uh, monitor, you do need better dongles for it and they're quite pricey. They are. I feel like everything additional to Mac is quite pricey if you want something good quality, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So next up, we're going to talk about upgradability and flexibility. So with Mac, I sort of feel like what you buy is what you get. So if you wanted to upgrade any components or say you ran out of storage, you wanted to upgrade that, you can't. That, that is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, I wanted to also point out one thing about the IMAX because uh, we were really interested in getting the IMAX. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, the, the big unfortunate situation here is if you end up buying the iMac and you have a great display, right? Mm -hmm. But eventually maybe you want to upgrade the speed of it. Maybe you want a new CPU in there, maybe a new graphics card. Well, you'd have to get another iMac. But the, but the thing is that your display is great. Like displays mm -hmm. don't really need upgrading every year or two such as uh, computer hardware. So you literally need to get rid of a hold this perfectly, perfectly fine display. Yeah. So that's quite unfortunate. Whereas in... P I got donkey <laughs> kicked. Uh, whereas in PCs, you know, if... Um, hey, you need more performance for maybe you're playing games or maybe you're doing 3D work, right? And you want a better graphics card. Just plug out the graphics mm -hmm. card and plug a new one in and you're pretty much ready to go. It's literally, it takes a minute to do. That's one of the big downsides for, mm -hmm. I feel like, for the both of us. If something goes, if something breaks in an Apple product, whether it's an iPad or MacBook, mm -hmm. you have to bring it over and pretty much get the whole thing replaced. Whereas in yeah. here, if like one of your RAM sticks breaks, just pull it out, put, put in a new one and it's all good. And it's always such like premium prices when it comes to Apple, right? I yeah. don't feel like they're really friendly towards mm -hmm their users I feel like it is quite I don't know it feels like when they make these sorts of changes where you can't even change components that aren't official or take it to a repair shop that's not an Apple repair shop mm -hmm. so you have to pay that extra it just it, it feels like it's not very friendly to the user it's like they're forcing you to have to keep paying that extra money yeah I agree mm -hmm. let's move on to the next one Woo! <laughs> Next up, we are going to talk a little bit about operating systems. So I want to ask you about the benefits of owning all of these different Apple devices and how they work together. 
Yeah, so I have the iPhone, the iPad and the MacBook Pro and it's great for me because the devices work like so seamlessly, seamlessly between each other. So even from like copying some text on my iPhone, I can access it on either the iPad or the laptop. It's just automatically done. Uh, for example, if I'm on the iPad and I'm making a sketch on Procreate, I can airdrop that to my MacBook and then I can finish it up in Illustrator. And then again, I can airdrop it to my phone to share mm -hmm. or wherever else. Um, same with you've got an iPhone, so even mm -hmm. sharing stuff between us, mm -hmm. it's really great to just airdrop. And when we are coding on, when you're coding on your um, MacBook as yeah. well, and I'm, well, I'm coding on mine, that's <laughs> all I have. It's really nice because if we're sharing images or code files, it's just so quick and easy. And I've noticed like when you're coding on your Windows and I'm on my MacBook, everything takes a little bit longer because they're yeah. different operating systems. So it's not so seamless between each other. But yeah, for me, that's why I love Mac mm -hmm. operating system because I have a few of their devices mm -hmm. and it's just so easy to send, share and yeah. work between them. Yeah, I remember when we were building out the JavaScript animation course, link down below, by the way, <laughs> get it, it's really good. Uh, we were both coding it on the laptop, so it was really nice because uh, she'd edit like an image together for us that we'd use on the final project mm -hmm. and just airdrop it quickly to me in like a second and then I'd be up and going. Whereas now it's like, ah, damn, I have to send everything through WhatsApp and then wait mm -hmm. a little bit and download it from there. So it's a little bit weird. Uh, and even, you know, just kind of how everything goes with Windows, uh, you don't really have, like, if you have an Android device and a Windows, I mean, so many different uh, phone companies out there, so they're not necessarily running on the same Android, vo Android version, uh, so it's quite inconsistent. and. It's just uncomparable to what Apple offers you. Even like random phone calls that you get on iPhone, it just automatically mm -hmm. syncs up with your laptop and you get the, you can pick it up from there. Or like headphones syncing across mm -hmm. devices. Like that. That's, that's so just, quick and easy. It's, like It's just seamless. You mm -hmm. have you, literally nothing that you need to do. You, you don't get any of that on, on Windows, unfortunately. So that's a big, big plus for for the Max. So another thing that I really like about the Mac operating system is it's always just so pretty to look at. So for me, that makes a huge difference to my experience when I use devices, when I go on websites. If it looks nice, I enjoy using it more. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So with Mac, um, I always feel like they're sort of ahead of the game in terms of things. So there was like the glass, glass morphism mm -hmm. before anybody was really doing it. Mm -hmm. The gradients, all and of these. Um, the flat, of... flat icons, right? They mm -hmm. were the first one to go with that minimalist icon look. And yeah. then everyone picked it up after that. Yeah. But not only that, it's just the consistency, not only through the whole operating system, but from a Mac to an iPhone mm -hmm. and to an iPad, you get the UI is consistent so, and the UX is consistent mm -hmm. throughout the whole. Whereas Windows, again, they, they, it feels like they're flip-flopping quite a bit. They go from glass morphism and now with Windows 11, they're copying Apple a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you had certain parts of the operating system like Control Manager or File Explorer or whatever. They all had a bit of a different look to them. So it was quite inconsistent. Some of the stuff in Windows looked still looked really like, good. yeah, looked really good. But and then others looked like it was like from the early 2000s or something, yeah. like not, not too much yeah. updated or mm -hmm. sort of forward thinking. Mm -hmm. So, so the big question, if you were to pick between a Mac or a Windows, mm -hmm. what would you go for? So for me, here's what I do. I'd have a powerful Windows PC sitting at home in the office, which I currently do have. And I'll use that for hard tasks like uh, editing together the videos, filming courses, because I have everything hooked up here, a bunch of IO ports set up with it, can hook up all the monitors, uh, have Blender for heavy, mm -hmm. heavy 3D. If we do end up developing games as well, that's all covered. So 
powerful workstation at home is gonna be Windows, but in terms of uh, when I like a Mac, I'd like to keep it with laptops, to be honest, because I do feel their laptops are the best out of all the other ones out there, especially with the future and how the M1 is advancing. And uh, since they own everything now, right, they have the proprietary CPU in there and the operating system and everything, they can truly really optimize the performance and battery life compared to any other company out there. So for portability, definitely go for Mac for me. Hmm. For me, I would stick with Mac as a creative person. I think it works best for me. Um, the seamlessness between devices really benefits me. Mm -hmm. However, I think I really do get jealous when I see you playing on Blender. Mm -hmm. And if I try and open Blender, my laptop just now, oh, it takes like 800 years to mm -hmm. do like the simplest thing. Mm -hmm. So. For me, I'm waiting for Mac to sort of catch up to Windows in terms of like um, being able to use Blender. I don't think it'll ever sort of get into gaming, which is a shame, mm -hmm. um, but I am willing to wait out. I think especially with the new chips that they've got, mm -hmm. they are getting closer. Mm -hmm. um, Here's the big question. Would you shell out the money for a Mac Studio? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would just yet because your PC seems to run better and it costs less, right? Yeah. And even just like the monitor and the monitor stand. <laughs> I can't afford all of that. <laughs> like the stand's over a thousand pounds, right? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, so I'm happy with my laptop just now. I do want to get mm -hmm. a computer and I was hopeful for the studio, right? Mm -hmm. But even then, like when you're looking at comparisons, they're not running better than a PC for half the price, right? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Uh, close. In certain categories, it yeah. does well. It's again, kind of depending what you need it for. So if you need it for graphics, uh, you know, Nvidia with the RTX and everything like that, of course, Nvidia has that, whereas uh, Mac does not, so anything RTX related, especially for gaming mm. or game making or 3D, you're not gonna be able to do that. But uh, certain... I think for like, if you are into music or video mm -hmm. editing and stuff like that, then definitely I would shell out the money if I was more focused on those types of things. Mm -hmm. But for my needs just now using it's just really Illustrator, Photoshop and Procreate, I don't really need that powerful uh, I don't need it to be as powerful as what that um, studio is just yet so I'm happy to wait out and see what else they can release in the future so we'll, we'll get the back studio but that's we'll what we're, we'll <laughs> get it and do comparisons because it's fun okay well <laughs> and it looks pretty it does look pretty that's the only thing like <laughs> the different colors of monitors like I would pay the money just to have like a baby blue monitor you know mm -hmm. yeah we'll get it and we'll make a video on it <laughs> <laughs> all right that's gonna be it for this episode it's been half an hour okay Woo! thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this little talky talk and yeah it would be fun to do more of these let mm -hmm. us know right yeah let us know if our rambling was interesting in any way mm -hmm. Just... mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so leave down any suggestions of things you mm -hmm. want us to talk about and we'll gladly make them yeah yeah all right We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Is that cringy? <laughs> yes. <laughs>